Hi, my beautiful Pisces friends. I hope you are all doing well. I have been drawn to do a reading for you to close out 2022 and take us into 2023 just to kind of see where you are and what you may be able to look forward to. I am just going to go ahead and smudge all the cards. These are all of the decks that I've been drawn to use. I will be using each and every one of them. Of course, I will have the timestamp for the reading down below, as well as the name of all of these beautiful decks. The first deck, however, I am not going to wait to turn over. I'm going to turn it over immediately. And then if you would like to proceed to the reading, of course, you're more than welcome to. Or if you'd like to be completely bored out of your mind, you can certainly sit with me through the shuffling and drawing process. Spirit, please provide divinely guided messages for the highest good only for our beautiful Pisces friends for 2022 into 2023. What is going on? Celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out to dance and play. An invitation could be on the way. Well, maybe some of you beautiful Pisces are getting invited to a New Year's Eve party or perhaps that's taking you further into 2023. Let's see, we're gonna go ahead and get our shuffling and drawing process started. Same intention spirit. Please provide divinely guided messages for the highest good only for our beautiful Pisces. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear for the highest good only? anything to close out 2022 and carry into 2023 or maybe new happenings in 2023. I'm going to ask for two cards from this beautiful deck of the Good Tarot. Sorry, I can possibly wipe off the cat fur from my desk. All right, on to the Light Seer's Tarot. Same intention, Spirit, please provide divinely guided messages for our beautiful Pisces. We're going to ask for two cards from this deck. Messages for the highest good only, please. the Mystic Dreamer Tarot. Same intention, Spirit. I had to look. I actually got the name of this one right. Oh. I have so many beautiful decks that I just can't keep track of all the names all the time. I try. I connect with each and every one of them before I put them into my tarot readings, but I am at the age where I am part of the CRS club, and if you don't know what that means, I'm sorry, I'm not going to tell you. If you do, let me know in the comments. Same intention, Spirit, for our beautiful Pisces friends. Messages for the highest good only. All right, we're going to take that. And I do need three from this beautiful deck. And I would like that one. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to take that as a good sign that that was a good selection. Spirit agrees with that card selection right there. Spirit, please continue to provide divinely guided messages. We are now on to the original Rider Waite Smith tarot. And I'm going to ask for three. 
two cards. We're going to take that one. And I hope, beautiful Pisces, that you all had a beautiful Christmas or Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and all of the other wonderful traditional celebrations that I am not aware of. And maybe I was at one time, but again, CRS Club. Mm -hmm. Three cards for our beautiful Pisces from this deck for the spirit, for the highest good only. If you hear background noise, my husband is home. And my corgi loves it when my husband's home. So he is pitter pattering. All right, we are on to the Oracle cards. Same intention spirit, please. Messages for our Pisces friends for the highest good only. Take that, thank you. And now we have the animal spirit or same intention. I love my decks. Yes, I will grab you. You deserve to be grabbed. Yes, you do. All right, we are narrowing down. We are now on to the Angel Therapy Tarot. I'd say this is one of my favorites, but you know what? They're all my favorite. If I don't connect with the deck, and there has been occasions, two occasions, I give them away because if I cannot connect with a deck, it is not meant to be for me and my readings. Spirit, please continue to provide divinely guided messages for the highest good only for our beautiful Pisces friends. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? Celebrate good times. Come on. I'm sorry. If you're subjecting yourself to that, I say you're subjecting yourself because you have an opportunity to skip ahead to the reading. So I'm going to put you back over here, but I'm going to keep the angel here. And last but definitely not least, we are pulling one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Same intention. Spirit, please provide divinely guided messages for the highest good only for our beautiful Pisces friends. What do they need to know for closing out 2022 and moving on into 2023? Messages for the highest good only, and it's two. I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them both. I'm going to put you on top. Ha -ha. All right, so if you have stuck with me through the shuffling and drawing process, thank you. I hope you weren't too bored. And if you are just coming in, thank you, my beautiful Pisces, for this opportunity to do this reading for all of you. All right, without further ado, thank you, Spirit. Let's get started. All right, Pisces, Unfinished Symphony. Very interesting, Unfinished Symphony. I feel like perhaps there is a musical bunch among my Pisces collective. Unfinished sympathy, uh, symphony. Maybe there is symphony. Symp I can't even speak right now. Holy Hannah. Let's move on. Building blocks. Okay. So, unfinished symphony and building blocks. Maybe something is not finished but you're ready to start a new project or maybe someone that you know I almost feel it's someone that you know has a habit of starting things and not finishing them and that's almost where I feel like this is going so maybe in the end of the story you're gonna be celebrating that somebody's finishing a project that could be you that could be somebody that you know but let's move on all right, angel therapy, solar plexus chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. Mm -hmm. 
all right beautiful Pisces so I feel that spirit is telling you in this unfinished symphony situation if you feel that something needs to be finished you're gonna grab a hold of that you're gonna have the power to make that happen and it's gonna be of a positive thing for you to do that ladybug good luck you are a bright energy let worry go and be happy here and now feel good about being a loving and colorful you you bless the world with color and good luck sorry I don't have my glasses on and I really should but isn't that beautiful all right so you are full of brightness love good luck you bring luck to those around you I feel like this unfinished symphony is something of 2022 and the building blocks is something that perhaps you are going to contain until the unfinished symphony is no more and projects are actually finished that's where I'm at with this let me know if that resonates with you in stillness I receive what a beautiful card it's such a simple yet beautiful message so at this point I feel like the in stillness I receive that you are actually taking in information you are allowing the positive energy to come in you're paying attention to your solar plexus it's like your gut feeling here and you're paying attention to that the Empress so you are in charge of what is going on currently in your life you are a giver you are a nurturer you are a stronghold of your network your network of friends and your family you are a very outgoing person I feel like with stillness I receive Spirit is saying maybe it's time that maybe you take a break from all of the nurturing and all of the the caregiving and as a, a Pisces you you're very empathetic which the Empress is an empath um, I feel like in stillness you receive perhaps you need to be on the down low a little bit for a little while with all of the energies that you take in maybe you need some time alone knight of pentacles i feel like with this knight of pentacles heading onward heading out away from me and this beautiful empress I feel like this is a message that you are contemplating needing to get out you're you're thinking about this this is something that you need which I feel has to do with the unfinished symphony I, I do still feel a strong energy of musical talent within this collective I almost feel like you have been working or you know someone you're you're close to someone who's been working on a project whether it's writing a song or a story <clears throat> you or someone that you're extremely close to are very talented and I feel like you have been taking on their emotions their roller coaster that they've been on and you kind of see how the keyboard in this card kind of resembles a roller coaster I feel like you've taken on 
the emotional roller coaster that they have going on if this is not you. This, this could be you as well, but if it doesn't resonate with you directly, again, I feel like it's somebody that you know. And they need to, I feel like you need to get a message to them saying you need to move forward, finish the projects that you have going on so that way you can see the results of all the work that you put into each and every one of these building blocks. And I feel like Spirit is saying, go with your gut feeling when you feel like it's the right time to send that message to that person. Judgment, yep. So you've been sitting back and now it's time for you to make a judgment call. You can no longer sit back. You need to either, if this is you, that Spirit is conveying this message about regarding finishing your symphony and kind of put a halt on the building. Let's finish what you've got going on. I feel like Spirit is saying it's time that you go with your gut, make the next move, whether it's you finishing or you encouraging this person to finish, this connection to finish, there's going to be a celebration in line for this. Of course, we still have many cards to go through, but let's keep going. Eight of Wands. Yep. So something is definitely going to come in fast once that judgment call is made. Eight of Cups. I feel like this is you walking away putting all your emotions in these, into these cups and lining them up and determining what direction you want to go into. And perhaps that's the gut feeling, the solar plexus that you need to work on and focus on. But I feel like this could be, if, if you are the musically or theatrically talented person that this is about, then I feel like this has been you wanting to walk away because you're afraid to move forward. This could be the person that you may need to persuade to finish their symphony if this is not you. So this is how you or this person has been feeling. Take it how it resonates. Again, I keep saying that. I'm sorry, but Either you or this person wants to walk away and spirit feels that that's not what should happen. There's some celebrating that needs to happen. Knight of Pentacles again. All right. Spirit's reiterating the message has got to get out. Okay. So Eight of Cups. You're at it. This is you. You're getting the Eight of Cups again. So Pisces, I feel like you've been overly sensitive about maybe your work or the person that you are feeling through your empathy gift. You're afraid. You, you are fearing what will come if you finish these projects. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. You or this other person are very giving. You give a lot of yourself. And I do feel, Pisces, that this is more about you because whether you are the gifted one, musically gifted one, you are definitely spiritually gifted with your healing and empathy that you have. And you are always very giving. And others see that and know that about you. Spirit knows that about you. Night of Fire. So this is the Knight of Wands. Nine of Wands, excuse me. And of course with the Nine of Wands, you know, you feel like you have to guard something. You or your connection need to 
put down your guard and you will have what you've been working so hard for with the nine of earth, the nine of pentacles. So just to summarize for you, spirit is saying beautiful Pisces that you or the person that you are feeling this from definitely need to find stillness and take it in because within the stillness you will be able to recognize or they will be able to recognize the talents that they truly have and not want to walk away. You need to not walk away or you need to see see through that they don't walk away. Spirit is very strong here. I'm really feeling it. The talent, you don't want to throw away your talent. Because you will be celebrating in 2023 if you follow through with your symphony that you've been building on. So with that said, I strongly encourage you to move forward and you will feel the fruition of your hard work and your talent or you will feel that of your connection that you are feeling all of this about. So please let me know if this resonated with you. A kind like would be awesome. And until next time, you all take care of my beautiful Pisces. Bye.